I'd advocate for the new three R's, the 21st century three R's of oil management. If we are going to operate sustainably, these three R's and proper oil management and maintenance are going to have to play a role. So what are these three R's? Well, they are number one, rethink, number two, remove, and number three, restore. We need to rethink business as usual, and we can start by rethinking assets. Typically, we've regarded our turbines as our assets and the oils within them as consumables. But it's not just about the machine. Oils are assets as well, and to see this, we need only look at their importance. We need only look at what happens when we do not maintain them correctly. So poor oil maintenance will lead to things like waste, oil waste first and foremost. It can also lead to costly equipment damage. The turbines can trip, they can fail. When the turbine trips, that leads to lost production, which economically is very costly, but is also environmentally costly. And last but not least, when we don't treat our oils well, we see reduced efficiency. These things are not sustainable, so we need to rethink the approach that has led to all of these being commonplace within the power generation sector today. Recall that oils are condemned on the basis of chemical breakdown, the accumulation of varnish and acids and other oil oxidation products. In order to extend oil lifetime, we need to remove these using ion exchange resins. And indeed, this is how you treat your lubricant as though it's an asset. By removing these breakdown products, which have a significant impact on turbine reliability, you can also ensure that reliability. In short, the best way to deal with a varnish problem is not to have to. We had the opportunity recently to poll gas turbine users, and we found that 20%, one in five, reported that they had lost production in the past year as a result of an oil-related problem. And varnish is the single most common problem associated with gas turbine oils. So, if you use ion exchange resins to remove varnish and to manage your oil chemistry, you can restore reliability to your system. Small changes can have a big global impact, and recall, power gen and the energy sector are responsible for a significant amount of emissions. So if we can make small changes that will reduce that number, every bit helps when it comes towards achieving that zero 2050 and operating sustainably. Now, if we want to operate sustainably, how can we do so? Well, I'd advise that you remember the three R's of oil maintenance. We need to rethink. We need to rethink business as usual. We need to treat our oils like assets, not like consumables. How do we do that? We do that by removing. We remove varnish and other oil breakdown products. We do so by managing their chemistry with ion exchange ICB resins. And what does this give us? What's the benefit? Well, we restore. We restore reliability, we restore efficiency, and we restore profitability. It's important to move towards sustainability, and that should be the driving force here, but it can also literally pay to do the right thing.